being chronically ill teaches us so many lessons and gives us so many life experiences that most people don't have. And that's the value that we carry with us. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boy. Welcome to the most amazing allergy, eczema, autoimmune, asthma combined channel ever. Hey guys, it's Jeffrey Lin. Uh, so the videos I've been doing lately have been a little bit more serious and I want to keep it light, but today's video is not going to be about that. That's just not my mood right now. <clears throat> Had a pretty tough two weeks and I'm always sick anyway, but when it gets to the point where uh, I can't do anything, I get pretty down on myself, start to feel worthless, not really useful. Um, and it's hard not to feel like that when um, your head's pounding and you can't get up or uh, you need help going to the restroom. Um, if you're in so much pain that uh, you need other people to do every little single thing for you or you can't even uh, work on a laptop or hold a phone. And it's times like that when I forget that being chronically ill teaches us so many lessons and gives us so many life experiences that most people don't have. And that's the value that we carry with us, whether we're uh, feeling at our worst or not so bad. And I learned this when I was at my worst, when all the doctors had given up and uh, my body was rotting, infected from head to toe. Um, I couldn't walk, my joints would pop. Um, my skin was leaking and I couldn't uh, hold a phone, I couldn't hold a pen, um, and then my, my mind started to go, I couldn't really think. But on a rare good day, I went to an institute class at a college organized by my church, and uh, uh, one of the young instructors told me something that I'll remember forever. He said, uh, just by being here, you are making a huge difference and you are uh, so valuable. And I didn't really understand what he meant at the time, but I've come to learn that a lot of times just because we're not actively doing something, that doesn't mean we're not valuable. Just the fact that I was there and obviously sick and different from everybody else, which is something a lot of uh, people with chronic illness are afraid of, but you shouldn't be. You're there to show people how different life can be and every little comment, just if you say it from your heart and from your own unique experiences of having illness, it would be a lot more valuable to other people hearing anything you have to say instead of everybody repeating the same thing because most people that are healthy, they're just going through life and they're gonna think along the same ways because they haven't really faced uh, a lot of adversity in their life. And when you speak from the heart and from your own experiences, um, they, will gain something. They'll they'll see how somebody else deals with adversity. And someday when they themselves have to deal with adversity and everybody does, the older I get, that's something I've learned as absolute truth is everybody deals with problems. And w when that day comes, they're gonna think back to you and your example and the little things that you said and just the way you carry yourself. So when you're feeling down to yourself, you have to remember what you're good at. You're an expert at hardships, which everybody is going to need from you at some point in their lives. Um, you're calm under stress and uncertainty. You're also calm under stress and uncertainty. It doesn't, probably doesn't feel like that because you get worked up, your body's not feeling well when you're in an emergency but most people have not experienced that before. And even when you're sick, you're able to think of what medications you need and how to deal with the situation. Um, and that's a kind of calmness that other people will need in their time of crisis. You're also empathetic because of all the suffering you've gone through and you can understand what other people are going through when they're having tough times. You're also detailed oriented you have to keep track of so many medications and treatments and if you mess up just a little bit the consequences are catastrophic it, you're going to suffer 
and most people don't have that kind of immediate in your face painful consequences to deal with so they're going to let certain things slide but living with chronic illness being detailed oriented is second nature to you already and obviously you're an expert at medical and health problems one of the reasons i'm so worn out today is because last week my mom ended up in the er luckily i have so much experience with that it's not the kind of experience you brag about but in a time of crisis I'm really glad that I knew exactly what to do and how to communicate with the doctors and nurses and give my mom the best care. And finally, you inspire others. You may not feel like it. A lot of people won't say it. And even when we're younger, people might even bully you because of your condition, but you never know who's watching. And there are a lot of people silently benefiting from your example and your strength. Just as an example, having done so much work in social media and consulting for Wall Street and big social media stars, you learn that most people don't comment on videos and on Instagram posts. They're just silently watching. But why are they subscribing? Why are they following? It's because they do benefit from it. And that's the same thing in real life. A lot of people are shy or they're not sure what to say or they're, they care about what other people might think if they say something but your impact just by being out there, just by showing up, um, and even when you can go out, just by communicating with people and honestly sharing your experiences as necessary. You don't want to push it in people's face and kind of almost brag that you have a condition that, and that you're different. But it, it, when it naturally comes out and people are like, oh, you, are still so caring and so hardworking despite all the problems you have, it inspires them, it gives them strength and it lets them know that they could overcome their problems in their lives as well. And that's something you're doing all the time. So many people feel like they don't matter. Even people who aren't sick feel like they're invisible. And we're not, every single one of us are in the world and everything we do, other people see, the world is different just because we are in it and every decision that we make and every word that we say or don't say. So do not underestimate your value to everybody around you. And over time, people will tell you how important you are and how you've changed your lives and you didn't even feel like you were doing anything different. You were just being you. And that's what we need. It's you being you because every single person is unique and has something special to offer it's like we're trying to it's like the world is an amazing painting if there's already the color red on the painting you wanting to be the color red just like everybody else isn't going to make the painting any better you want to maybe be a different shade of red or maybe you want to be the color blue or you want to be the color purple and that's be you and that's you being yourself all right guys, stay strong. And if you have questions, you can leave it below or if it's more private, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, the link's in the description.